Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel where we talk all things true crime. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome. My name is Titanium Bill, or you can call me Tanya, whichever you prefer. And welcome back to all my Titans that are here on regular for my regular uploads. Thank you so much for joining me yet again. So today we're going to be talking about a case that is just, it's brand new. Um, and I'm actually going to be coming on live tonight at 6 p.m. to discuss this case. The authorities are still trying to piece together what transpired at a home near the University of Idaho campus. Four students at the University of Idaho were found dead near campus in what local officials described on Monday as a crime of passion. The authorities said they responded to a call about a not about an unconscious individual on Sunday and discovered four people unalive, three women and one man, at a house near the University of Idaho campus. On Monday, they were identified. They were identified as the victims as Ethan Chaplin, who's 20, Madison Mogan, 21, Zanna Kernodal, 20, and Kaylee Goncavs, 21. And I'm sorry if I mispronounced your guys' names. Kathy Abbott, the Lata County coroner, said that all four deaths are being considered homicides and that it is not a case of murder-suicide. Ms. Mabbitt said her office planned to conduct autopsies on Wednesdays. She said she could not share any information about how the victims had been killed without author authorization to do so from the police. The police later released a statement stating the weapon used was a serrated weapon. So I would say a knife or some sort of blade. The police say they feel the public isn't in danger of this person, but I don't see how that could be possible because they do not have the actual person in custody yet. So how do they say, how can they possibly say that nobody is, everybody's safe? You know, these young adults, they were all under the age of 21 or 21 or under, and the police are keeping a tight lip on the case. So I'm hoping with the live press conference tonight, um, we will get some more information on what's going on with them. I do want to pull up just a, um, they spotted this mystery man and they want us to show you, um, I'm going to show you guys and you can tell me maybe if you guys know him, it is going to be a very small screen. I'm sorry, but that's as big as it goes, but here it is for you. Sorry about that. That's my speaker in the background. Sorry about that. That's my speaker still going off for some reason. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys for today for this video. I will see you guys tonight on the live and I'm going to go figure out my speaker problems. Oh, there it goes. Never mind. So sorry about that, guys. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so by clicking the subscribe button below the bell icon to be alerted to all my new videos. And if you're feeling very generous, you know, and it's free to do, go ahead and smash that like button. Thanks guys so much. And I will see you guys tonight at 6 p.m.